This is Petey from Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and right now we're going to look at the application.platform method. So let's open up our old project that we've been working on. Uh, we'll open up our script that we've been working on as well. I'm opening mine in Mono Development. All right, we got it open. Now the syntax for this, uh, well, let's think. We just want to print out what platform we're on, so we're just going to make a new label. So let's just go down here and go GUI dot label, creating a new rect. And we're going to put this 10 in. Um, see, so the last one was 20 high by 10, so we'll put this one at 40. I'm going to get 100 wide, 20 high, and we're going to go application dot platform. This will just simply display the platform that we're actually running it on. We can do other things with it, and we'll demonstrate that in a bit. Uh, I spelled something wrong. Uh, do you want to label new rack? One, two, three. I seem to have forgotten something. So we have an error line 37, which is our new line, GUI label. So we got the new rack. Uh, in, down, width. What is our error? Uh, it returns an enumeration. So let's just cast it to string. That take care of it. Yeah, so let's just quickly run it. OS X Editor. Now if we were to build this out like we have been doing, I'll just hit Build and Run. Now we'll open up a web player. Now we got the OS X web player. We'll go back to the editor, run it there again. And you'll notice it says OS X Editor. Now, what this is actually returning to us is a runtime platform and there's about six or so platforms that I can return so let's take a look at a few of those I'll just stop this so let's just uh, work off our old example so let's say application dot platform is equal to runtime platform dot and here's all the different runtime platforms that we can check for. So we have the dashboard player for the Mac OS, it's editor, it's player, and this is the standalone. Uh, the web player, oh, there's a Wii player, I didn't know that was in there. There's a window, uh, Windows player, and the Windows web player. So we're going to say if we're in the OS X editor, then we're going to put here in OS X editor. We start it back up in OS X Editor. And then there's, there's our counter from before. Now this can be very useful if you have different settings for different platforms. So maybe on the Windows platform you want certain things to happen or there's a directory you want to access a different way than you will on a, a Mac. Or I haven't actually done anything with the Wii, but uh, you might want to check to see if the platform you're running on is the Wii. And then you can do platform specific things there. Let's just check out. Yeah, so you can also check to see if you're in the web player. And we'll probably be going over that when we're checking uh, out stuff like the, the base or the absolute URL. Uh, we're going to want to check to see if we're in the platform before you even check that. But anyway, that's how you check the platform that your application is running on. And you can simply put that in uh, the, the start function and call up custom settings for the platform. See you in the next tutorial.